Hmm, all right, what do we have in here? <gasps> we have a whole cave! The way forward is blocked? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! You guys, we found a little hidden cave! And unfortunately, it seems that the way inside is blocked, but maybe we'll be able to find something really useful, like a shovel. If we take our shovel, we'll be, we'll be able to like clear that out of the way. Let's actually try that. So we're gonna equip our shovel and let's try again. And let's see if we go in there with the shovel. Ah, no, the way forward is blocked for now. Ah, another mystery to unravel here on a short hike. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to a short hike where we are currently getting my sense of adventure totally up and excited again as Chips and I are preparing to finally, now that we are safely vaccinated, head up into the beautiful Appalachian Mountains where we met and fell in love and hopefully go on a short hike of our own that we can really just appreciate and enjoy for its wonders and its beauty. And uh, we're here in a short hike so I can remember how amazing it is to have a chance to actually explore the world again. So all right, let's go ahead and see what we have over here. We've adventured around a lot of the other nooks and crannies so far, and I found a lot of treasure, which is definitely a good thing. All right, any sign of treasure over here? Not just yet, but by the time we leave this place, you guys, we're gonna know this whole mountain like the back of our hands, I swear. My curiosity is going to have me searching under every tree, turning over every rock. And fun fact, if you turn over the rocks when you are in the Appalachian Mountains, you are apt to meet a salamander! Really adorable salamanders. And also you probably shouldn't turn over too many rocks because that is their home. I would very much dis like be very displeased if somebody just flipped my home upside down. But you can find salamanders there. Hello, fox friend. Hmm. I was planning on hiking the Hawk Peak. But the path suddenly got really steep. Do you think it's climbable? Well, it would be if I had a golden feather. Apparently they sell them at the visitor center. Or if you're persistent and curious enough, you can actually end up, yay, we did it. You can actually end up being able to climb it yourself. Hello, bunny friend. Did you climb up here too? Uh, hmm. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Uh, not really. I'm supposed to run a marathon race today. Let me guess. Is it against a tortoise? Since, you know, your hair. But I've lost my lucky headband. I've worn it to every race I've ever run. Oh, I actually had a sociology class where we did a whole study on how people actually develop superstitions around lucky items when it comes to competitive sports. Pretty much every professional baseball player out there has some sort of lucky item. It could be like a towel they have to use to shower with before they go ahead and have their game. It could be a meal they have to eat. But it was a really cool sociology study that just showed that our minds really want to create a narrative that block out chance and uncertainty and make us feel like we can really have control over our world. And that is how a lot of superstitions end up arriving. Uh, so see friend you don't even need your headband the ability to win this race is inside you but if you need the self-confidence boost i'll definitely help you find it i i don't know if i could race without it where'd you lose it somewhere in blackwood forest hmm i think i could take a look for you really i mean absolutely we're now wearing the ranger hat after all we should probably try to at least take care of some of the nice duties that we could do around here for everybody you do that for me? Sure. It's a red headband. I can give you a reward. I could give you a pair of running shoes. Don't you need those yourself? Well, I just got sponsored by the shoe company. They gave me like 10 pairs. Whoa. Congrats. Oh, <laughs> thanks. But uh, let me know if you see a red headband. Oh, that's so cute. And now the bunny is off. All right, so let's actually check this. So Blackwood Trail is actually back to the north. And if we go west, that's Hawk Peak Trail. The visitor center is down this trail. Oh, look, we could have climbed up there a whole different way. Okay. So, oh, look, 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 look. Okay, I think this is gonna be more money. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna need to, eh. Okay, there we go, we equipped it. And we'll do a little digging. Yay, we got more cash. We don't really need it for much, but we'll go ahead and see. Now let's see if we can help this bunny find their red headband. Ooh, well that's not a red headband, but that is a little bit of cash money. 
All right, Blackwood Forest, huh? Oh, hey! More treasure! This is so rewarding, being able just to like search for treasure along all the peaks. Wow. Like I said, our curiosity is going to span this entire mountain. I really, really, really can't wait to be able to go ahead and explore the real forest myself soon. I really should make a little scavenger hunt just to make it fun for myself. Oh, look, it's another coin. Oh, wow, it's another golden feather. I wonder if that means our stamina is going to be twice as long. That's really cool. It's so beautiful up here. Oh, look, you guys. Way far away in the distance is actually a treasure chest. We would just definitely have to take a leap of faith to be able to reach that. Huh. You know what? I think we're going to go ahead and save that for a little while from now. And let's keep searching Blackwood Forest to try to help people out. Somebody also lost a watch, so we're trying to look for a watch as well. Let's see. Is this a good spot to climb? I wonder if a bird... Well, we are a bird. But I was going to say, I wonder if a bird collected the headband to try to go ahead and... <laughs> There's a little pun for you. To try to go ahead and actually... There we go. <gasps> Look, there's the red headband! And it's on the tortoise! To, I was going to say a bird might have gotten it for its nest, but it's actually this tortoise has it! For the tortoise and the hare! What did I tell you guys? Oh, uh... Weird question, but... Where'd you get that headband? Um... I don't know. I've had it for ages. Why? Uh, well, I was just talking to this rabbit. She said she lost her headband somewhere in the forest. Oh, you mean Sue? Maybe? I didn't get her name. She was really worried about it, though. She said it was lucky and she needs it to the race. I am supposed to race her later today. She's so talented. I've been really looking forward to it. Oh, that's a really good sportsmanship right there. Mm. What if I gave you mine? I'm pretty sure it's the same kind. Oh, that's so nice! Maybe she would notice? Oh, hmm. But then it wouldn't be lucky? Uh, I don't know. Just take it. Just see if she wants it. <gasps> we got a headband! Okay, I don't know if Sue's gonna want this headband, but that was super nice of the tortoise. And here I thought he stole it. Any luck finding my headband yet? Well, I found this. Hmm. That's not it. The sweat stains aren't in the right place. Uh, you? Where'd you find this? Actually, the turtle gave it to me. They said you could have it. They're looking forward to the race and didn't want you to miss it. What? Really? Taylor the turtle? They're like the regional champion. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This headband has to be like at least twice as lucky. Possibly even quadruple lucky. What? That's so much luck! Okay, I'll take it. I'm so pumped. Take these running shoes. Yay! Okay, so we traded the headband and now we got running shoes instead. You can hold C to run with them. However, just keep in mind that running requires golden feathers. It does? Oh, look at that! It does! Wow, and we went through those golden feathers kind of quick. But that's so cool! So we actually got to spend time with, like, Taylor the turtle? And we, we saw a race between the tortoise and the hare, which is not what I was expecting. Can we go behind this waterfall? What the heck? I'm climbing the waterfall? Okay, I didn't expect to be able to do that, but that was really fun. Alright, where else can we wander? So through the forest. Hey, Taylor! Wow, this is so pretty! This world is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I've thought that about the real world, too. Alright. Oh, look! There's another... There's that raccoon again painting, I think. Um, let's see. And then I'm pretty sure over here I saw a coin. Oh, no! It was over there! Okay. Oh, it was over there, too! There's a little trail of coins! Hello, turtle friend! And it looks like we get up here. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. I see something shiny behind this rock up here. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a path to the north. Oh, 
I love how many little curious places there are to explore. Who's this? Hello? Hey. Ah! Yes, this setup is 100% legal. <laughs> I guess we are ruining the ranger hat after all. Um, yes, I have a valid camping permit. Wait. Fine, fine, you got me. Hold on. I lost it. I'm a terrible liar. I'm a mess. Um, please don't write me up. I can bribe you. We got literal bait. <laughs> Does this mean we can fish? Did you really just hand me a fistful of worms? Okay, that's adorable. This is so cute. It's fishing bait. I'm desperate. What would you do? Well, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna tell anyone. Wait, really? You weren't a junior ranger? Nope. My aunt's a ranger. But I don't work for her. Oh, so we came with our aunt. That is so cool. One day I want to be that auntie for my niece and my new nephews. I have two nephews now. One's going to be born later this summer, which is going to be very exciting. I'm so happy I'm going to be able to see him. It would have been so hard if, like, I still wouldn't have been able to go visit him. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so fun. Oh, well, you won't tell, right? Nah. Good. I guess. You can keep the bait. Thanks. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, so we found somebody hiding back here. They gave us bait so we could try to do a little fishing. And let's see if we can collect a little bit more treasure. Though to be honest, I'm getting really curious about just being able to do a lot of exploring. All right, onward. Come on, us. Oh, we made it, yes. Look, there's a whole trail of coins leading to the artist too. All right, we're gonna try to make it to this spot. There we go. Another one. What we could use these coins for, I have no idea. <gasps> wow! There's a whole path up here. This mountain is so cool. Okay, so let's actually take the path back. There we go. And then let's jump this way. Is this where the artist is? I think the artist is across here. Yeah, look! Wow, what a view! Hey, it's you again. Yep. Classic me again. So, what do you think about this so far? Whoa. This is really good. It's like, better than in real life. Haha, <laughs> well, I don't think I can compete with real life. But I am happy with it so far. I don't know if it will fit into my exhibit though. I'm trying to come up with something more interesting. I'm gonna follow one of those rivers up to its source. I have an idea for a painting from that perspective. Oh wow, it's so cool to see how this artist has like all these different perspectives that they're thinking about. Which just goes to show they see the landscape totally differently from how I do. I'm over here trying to think about all of the different ways that the ecology fits together in that beautiful web of life. And then we've got our friend over here who's trying to think about different perspectives that you could see the world from for a painting. I love that. That's why it's important to have different perspectives, you know, in life, with people seeing things in different ways. It can really help open the world up to you. What river are you going to follow? Probably the one to the west side of the mountain. It's higher up. Okay, west side of the mountain. Got it. I'll see you again, raccoon friend. Also, I saw a coin. Okay, let's come up to this lighthouse. Can we go inside it, maybe? Interesting. So we can't go inside the lighthouse, but right over here happens to be, if I'm careful, some money. Look, and we can see our aunt from all the way over here. Well, I hope she's having a good time too. All right. All right. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. We've got this. We've got this. Yes. All right. So the adventure continues. We're still looking for a watch that someone lost. And here's a little bit more with coins. And it looks like we're really being able to make it up this cliff too. Meteor Lake Overlook, Hawk Peak Trail, Blackwood Trail. Oh, it's so pretty. Meteor, wow, it's so, what is that? Oh my gosh. Do we wanna jump down there? Do we wanna glide for that? There's so many places that are starting to become like leaps of faith, if you ask me. Let's come down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? What's that? Is there something inside? 
Oh, I'm so curious. Where are we going now? I have no idea where this is going to be on the side of the mountain, but it's definitely somewhere different. Oh, look, and there's another shell. Whoops, oops, oops. Okay, note to self, you should always tell somebody where you're off to hike so that nobody has to worry about you. Is this Gulliver? Did I just find Gulliver? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we have definitely wandered into a new place I didn't expect. We're just going to casually collect some of this cash from uh, this, this pelican. And we have a treasure map. <gasps> That's so cool. We found a treasure map. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.